In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix Overwatch 2 unexpected server error occurred and also game server connection failed when trying to play the game. So before we get started, I just want to say I will pop a link in the description below to our website where I may have added more methods on things you can do to fix in these errors. So the first thing that you need to do is just simply ensure there is currently no maintenance work or any other issues with the servers. And we can do this by checking the Overwatch 2 Twitter account and also you can check this by opening up battle.net app. So the first thing that you need to do is just click on the link in the description below to go to the Overwatch 2 Twitter account and just have a quick look on there to see if there's any known issues. If not, then you can then also open up the battle.net app and straight away as you can see on the Overwatch 2 page where you can launch the game, there is a message here that says that they are currently aware that players are encountering an unexpected server error, which is of course why I'm doing this video. So although Blizzard are aware of this message and they are currently trying to fix it, that does not mean that you cannot try a few things of trying to fix the error message yourself. So the next thing that we need to do is just simply launch Overwatch 2. Once open, you can now see that it's searching for a game server and as you can see, it now says game server connection failed, retrying. So the best way of fixing this error message, as you can see it's currently in a loop, is to click on the cancel button. You now need to type in your Blizzard account email, and you then need to type in your password. I'm going to do that now, and then once you've done that, press log in. And there we go, as you can see it's now come out of that loop, and it's put me in a queue. And I must say that queue is pretty large, so if you're willing to wait the time, then you will eventually, hopefully get into Overwatch 2. If that didn't work though, then the next thing that you need to do is just close down the game. Once you've done that, we now need to ensure that our firewall is not blocking Overwatch 2. So if you're using Windows Defender, then this is how you can do that. If you're using a third party security program, then you will need to either put it into a passive mode or a game mode. And if you don't have the option to do that, then you may have to disable your security software just for a short period of time to test out the game. But just keep in mind you might not be protected from security threats while it's disabled. And if it does then fix the error message, then you will need to add Overwatch 2 to the exception list in your security program. So if you're using Windows Defender, all you need to do is open up the start menu, and you then need to type in Windows Defender. You now need to select Windows Defender Firewall, and you then need to click on Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, you now need to click within the list and then just press O on your keyboard. You will then see Overwatch application. If you do not see this here, or if it's missing a tick under public, then you need to click on change settings, and you then need to tick the box. If the game is missing, then you need to simply click on allow another app. You now need to browse for the games.exe, so go to the location where you installed Overwatch 2, and then just press add, and then just tick the box and press OK. Go ahead and launch the game again and that would have hopefully resolved the issues you're having with it saying unexpected server error or game server connection failed. If that didn't help then the next thing that we need to do is go down to the system tray in the bottom right hand corner and right click on the network adapter. You then need to select open network and internet settings. Next, we need to click on change adapter options, and you then need to right click on your network adapter and go disable. Once that's disabled, you then need to right click on it again and go enable. This will disconnect you from the internet, so just make sure you don't have anything open that's currently connected to the internet, as it will obviously disconnect that program from the internet. So once you've done that, go ahead again and test out the game. If that didn't work, then the next thing to do is run an internet speed test on your connection, just to make sure that there are currently no problems with your internet connection. And you can do this easily by opening up your web browser, and then go to Google and type in internet speed test. You will then see a button that says run speed test, go ahead and click onto this button, and Google will then run an internet speed test, and straight away I can tell you that's the correct download speed that I should be getting, and that's also the correct upload speed that I should be getting. So I can confirm that there are currently no problems with my internet connection. If you're not getting the correct speeds, then you will need to contact your internet provider. So the next thing that you need to do if you are using a VPN service is to disable it, as it could easily be causing the unexpected server error and also causing the game server connection failed error. 
So go ahead and disable the VPN service if you're using one, launch the game, and then see if that helped. But on the other hand, if you're not using a VPN service, then by using one could also help fix the error messages. I will pop an affiliate link in the description below to a VPN service where you can also get a bit of money off if you're interested. If that didn't help, then the next thing you need to do is open up the start menu. And you then need to type in CMD. You now need to open up command prompt. And you then need to type in ipconfig space forward slash and then flush DNS. You then need to press enter. That will now flush your DNS. Once that's finished, go ahead and launch the game again and see if that helped. If that didn't, then the next thing that I'd suggest you do is to restart your router. Just make sure no one else is currently on the internet before you restart the router because it will kick them off the internet. So once you've restarted the router, then try out the game again. If that didn't work, then the next thing that you need to do is open up the battle.net app. Once open, you then need to go to the games tab and then select Overwatch 2 and you then need to click on the settings cog and then simply click on scan and repair and then go begin scan. This is now going to ensure that none of the game files have become either corrupt or missing because if there is an issue with one of the game files then that could also cause the unexpected server error and also game server connection failed. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video click the like button below and if you'd like to see another computer sluggish video then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe then I will see you in the next video.